I don't know, but we talking relationships in 2022. What up, y'all? What's happening? What's up, auntie? What's up, baby? You got them titties tucked in, don't you? Hey, baby, let's take the bra off, baby, okay? We about to talk some relationships. You know what I'm talking about? What's up, TT? What's up, unk? What's up, baby? Is the hard bottoms ready, baby? Is the hard bottoms. Y'all bring y'all asses on up in here. Come on, y'all ain't doing nothing. Yeah. Now, if you see some smoke off the side here, it's because I light incense and candles. In no way, shape, or form am I, am I violating anything that TikTok got going on. No, I'm talking about. <laughs> Listen, first and foremost, I am your host, Top Rope Zeus. Welcome, everybody, to my live. I hope everybody's doing well. I am your host, Top Rope Zeus. I am the one, not the two. Now, I do understand how that may sound, but one time for the one time. Give me a two up and a two down. We broadcasting live from Virginia right here, man. Let me know where y'all at. I want to know where y'all at in the world. Pull up on me in these comments, goddammit. I want to see who, what, talk to me. What's up? What's up? Yo, man, first and foremost, y'all, we're definitely about to be talking relationships. I just put a, um, a poll. Pause. I put a, a survey in in my, in my chat to ask how do y'all feel about relationships in 2022 2022 how y'all feel about relationships are y'all uh still hopeful of love or have you completely given the hell up i want to know what's up washington state let's see Washington State, what's up, y'all? Listen, if y'all enjoy this live, please feel free to send roses. Um, I'm a big person on sending people their roses. I'm gonna make sure I send y'all y'all roses as well. Silver Fox, what up? You from Washington State? Hey, ain't, that's all the way on the other side of the country. I like when people pull up on the other side of the country on me. What's up, Silver? Ain't nothing, man. So y'all, listen, y'all. We talking about relationships in 2022. What's y'all situation? Talk to me. Um, here's how, here's what I've been observing, right? I have a relationship show that I do on YouTube called Hump Day Romance, right? So for all of you that never seen me before, you just happen to pull up on this live, yo, I got a relationship sketch comedy show that I do called Hump Day Romance. And I got about two seasons out and you can go on YouTube right now and type in top rope. Well, don't go right now. Keep your ass here. But Hump Day Romance is my joint. So basically... I create hump day romance so we can get more laughter in the bedroom, right? I feel like dating and uh, relationships, family, shit then got kind of weird, these, you know, lately. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's no love in the bedroom anymore. There's no um, warm conversations. There's no bringing a, a man a plate of food anymore. There's no more hugs and kisses. People ain't even kissing in the mouth no more when they have sex. Ain't that some wild shit? I was talking. About, I was talking to somebody about that today. I said, uh, I said, I said, you know what's interesting? I said these young kids today in their twenties. I said, man, they ain't even kissing you in the mouth when they in the twenties. They ain't taking you out to eat. You know, they ain't even like hugging you. How you gonna have sex with somebody that you ain't even hugged before? I blame the internet. I feel like I'm blaming the internet, y'all. And y'all can let me know how y'all feel about this. But I feel like the internet people are. I don't. I don't want to say just the internet, but. We as people are kind of desensitized right now. Thank you, uh, Jay Rich. Thank you for the rose, brother. I appreciate you. Jay Rich 0612. But check this out, y'all. I feel like we desensitized. You know what I'm saying? Like, people act like we don't even have feelings no more. Like, I don't know about y'all, but I don't even understand how people even love anymore these days. Because one minute somebody loves you and the next minute you say something they don't like or a tweet or something and they just automatically don't fuck with you no more. Like, I don't get... I don't get how finicky people are. You know what I mean? I don't get how finicky people are. For the ladies, right? She said, I'm a woman. <laughs> hey, Jay Rich, I'm sorry, boo. Listen, the name Jay Rich made me sound like, it sounded like you was like, you owned a record label for like, rap artists that really wasn't gonna take off. Like hood nigga rap artists. I was like, oh, that's Jay Rich Entertainment. That's that's what I thought. Jay Rich, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, bro. <laughs> Jay said, yo, I'm, I'm, I'm a woman. I appreciate that, sweetie. So look, yo, uh, 
But nah, thank you for the roses, mama. I appreciate you for sure. But yeah, I had to be honest. It's like, why is it that people think that because you have money or because you have a nice body or BBL or whatever the hell people are doing these days, I don't understand why people think that money can buy your soul. I mean, I'm pretty sure it can buy a lot of people, but it doesn't buy me. See, I feel like we in a world where now relationships have become like a, a numbers game. It ain't even about the person's um, personality anymore, right? Nah, it ain't about the per person's personality. It ain't about the character of the man or the character of the woman. It's like, what can you buy me? What what can you do for me, goddammit? What, what, what can you do, goddammit? Can you pay this? Can you pay that? I don't know. And not to say that it hasn't been like that since the beginning of time, but I don't know. I just feel like the world just feel a little bit colder, colder to me. You know what I'm saying? It feels like there's a lot less people willing to be genuine. Everybody's pretending to be heartless and savage when really, shit, everybody just needs some love. I don't give a damn who you are. You know what I'm saying? I know gangsters and killers that I've sat down and had beautiful conversations with, and these niggas need love, men and women. So I'm just asking myself, it's like, I, let's say women, for example, right? Now, me, everybody knows on my show, Hump Day Romance, I don't bash men and I don't bash women. I bash everybody. We all goofy. <laughs> we all goofy because we're human. I don't believe in this whole goofy-ass gender war bullshit. I don't believe in any of that. I believe in human beings. You know what I'm saying? And I believe that men and women are different. We should not try to compete with one another, but we should try to, first and foremost, appreciate the differences. You know what I mean? I appreciate the fact that a woman is good at certain things that I'm just like not naturally good at. And I'm just like, wow, you really enjoy doing that thing. And, and to me, it's uh, I would be I would be in agonizing, agonizing pain. Like, you know what I'm saying? I don't know. I just think we're not appreciating each other. But check this out. Right. I noticed that with couples nowadays, people are in a couple of different categories. Right. I see couples that are completely, let's be a power couple. Come on, we can do this. What the fuck is this power couple shit? Please explain that shit to me. What is the hell is a power couple? Are, are you two niggas about to go and fight uh, the Transformers? What's up? Are y'all about to go? Are we about to invade motherfucking Wakanda? What's happening? I don't want to be a power couple. I want to be a peaceful couple. Ooh, come by. Somebody. Come on now. Nigga T.D. Jakes just came up in this bitch. All of, come on now. Come on now. Shit, somebody. I said... I said, I want. I don't want to be a power couple. I want to be a peaceful couple. You know what I'm saying? I want to be. Um, I want to be passionate about what I do, and I want to have peace. I don't want to be going back and forth and arguing and competing. And I believe I want a woman that wants the same thing. But here's also what I checked out. Right? I had this fire ass conversation from uh, with this 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 gentleman. Right? And me and this gentleman were talking about life and relationships. And he talked to me about a time where, um, damn, what this nigga talked to me about? I hate, I'm sorry, y'all be losing my trade of thought. Oh, Lord. Got it. All right. He was dating this girl, and this girl said, listen, I, want, I like you, and I want you to marry me. This girl had money or whatever, her family, right? And she said a doctor wanted to marry her, this doctor. Let's call him Tom, right? Dr. Tom had proposed to her. But she wanted this dude I'm talking to, my homie, and he's like a cold killer. I'm talking like tattoos on the face, cold killer type, but a, a very honest soul, sweet brother, if that makes sense. I know people think you can't be both, but you can. And this brother's super respectful, much respect to this brother, right? And he said, yeah, this woman was trying to force him to marry her. I said, and she was on some, she was on some type stuff like, listen, uh, I want to get married. So if you're not going to marry me, then I'm, I'm going to accept this other guy's proposal. And that was interesting to me. You want to know why? Because I, I realized, I said, man, you know, it's a big difference between somebody who wants to do something and somebody who wants to do something with you. It's a difference between somebody who wants something in life and somebody who specifically wants you. It's a difference between a woman that wants to get married and a woman who wants to marry a specific man. You get what I'm saying? It's a difference between somebody saying, man, I want to be in a relationship versus somebody saying, hey, listen, 
I want to be in a relationship with you. I like what you got. I like the sauce. I like the drip. I'm trying to get a goddamn sip. You know what I'm talking about? And I realized, I said, man, that's some goofy shit. Because I would never be with somebody that, that just wants to get married or just have a relationship. You can take your ass on to the first bidder for that. This, this, nah, baby. That, I'm not an off-the-rack kind of nigga. You know what I'm saying? That means that I'm, I'm custom-made. I'm tailored for a specific type of individual. You see what I'm saying? So I realized, ask yourself, have you ever dealt with somebody that you felt like just wanted um, to be in a relationship or just get married or just have kids? Some people just want to have kids. They don't necessarily want to have kids with you. They just want to have kids. You see what I'm saying? People be, it's, it's, we got certain kind of people who just want to check off boxes in their life. Whereas individuals like myself is like, listen, I only want it if it's right. I don't, I don't want it if it's not mine. I don't want it if it's, if it's forced. I don't want any of that. You know what I'm saying? Hey, shout out uh, my man uh, Dijon. Hey, brother. I hope I'm saying it right, Dejon. I appreciate you, brother. Dejon. Oh, mustard head ass. Who passed the Dejon? <laughs> nah, fuck with you, my nigga. <laughs> oh, Dejon head ass, nigga. Nigga smell like some Dejon. Dejon kind of fire name, nigga. I ain't gonna hold you. She kind of fire. Yeah, like a, it's like a ghetto cologne commercial. To get all the women. Get Dejon. Y'all distracted me. Anyway, I appreciate you, fam. Um, but now nah, I'm dead ass serious. It's like, I be seeing a lot of people. Tell me, put in the comments. Do y'all see, how many people that y'all know or see people in relationships and y'all know that shit ain't going nowhere? Come on, y'all. Come on, y'all. Come on, y'all. Let How many times y'all seen disaster ass couples that sweat and they be like, oh, we so in love. They got matching sweaters and boots and all that other goofy shit. And you know that at the end of the day, some people, and it's some real shit, some people can't be alone. You better watch out for them people. Some people cannot motherfucking be alone. As soon as they get out of one relationship, they got to be with somebody. They got to go hop in the bed with somebody. And these people don't realize how low key kind of like not healthy that is. You know what I'm saying? That shit is quite unhealthy when you cannot be alone by yourself and love yourself. That's why a lot of people be going, uh, be putting up with people putting their hands on them or uh, beating their, you know, um, bullshit circumstances, cheating on them, whatever the case may be. Send me some roses if I'm telling the truth. If I'm lying, I'll send you some roses. You know what I'm talking about? I'm not bullshitting. And my thing is this. I, I've been on the internet since 2012. I'm not one of these people who want to promote l being against love. Oh, yeah, let's just go out and have sex, do everybody wrong, be cheating. I think that shit is goofy, okay? We need stronger families. You feel what I'm saying? We need stronger families. We need better, uh, better men, and we need better women. And how do we do that? Shit, we got to start speaking some nonsense, and people got to start, start n not being afraid to say common sense. Because some goofy motherfuckers want to pretend like it's not common sense. I was raised by older people, so you must forgive me. I was raised in Norfolk, Virginia, okay? So I'm a country boy. And I was raised by older people, you know? And these older people had great sayings. One of my favorite sayings, yo, my mother told me, don't forget what side your bread is buttered on. I'll say it again. Never forget what side your bread is buttered on. If you know what that means, put in the comment section if you know what that statement means. Never forget what side your bread on. Or what does that mean to you? You know what I'm saying? Like, in relationships, in life, remember what side your bread is buttered on. To me, it means that never forget who love you. You know what I'm saying? Like, who really love you. Not who love you when you got some money. Uh, not who love you when you bought a house, when you on vacation. When your body looking good in the gym, you know what I'm saying? Not all that, just who really love you at your worst. You know what I'm saying? See, that's the thing. I don't even I don't even mess with people who can't deal with me at my worst. I don't do that because I can be moody sometimes. And I got a good intention, but I'm just a human being. I get moody sometimes. And when that happens, I remove myself from people so that my shitty mood don't get on nobody else. 
You see what I'm saying? I'm not one of them, I'm gonna put you around my mood kind of people. Oh, no, no, no. I'm gonna let you know, sweetie or pimp, hey, bro, I ain't feeling it today, okay? The inner killer in me is, is, is really... You know, I'm gonna need some time to myself, and they respect that. You see what I'm saying? So, yeah, man. All around the world, wherever you at, yo, I, first and foremost, I appreciate y'all enjoying my episode of Honest Wedding Vows. If y'all never seen my content when I'm done with this live, yo, go check out my show, Hump Day Romance, all right? I really want to know what y'all think, and also go to my YouTube channel because I got full episodes there where I do this and I add comedy with it. So if y'all up tonight, hey, check me out, man, you know what I'm saying? I'm getting ready to get out of here because... uh I don't know. I don't want to talk y'all to death, but I appreciate y'all. To all my, my real brothers out there, man, listen, keep keep growing. Keep growing, keep glowing. To all my real ladies out there who still believe in love and happiness, listen, man, don't let them sell you on the fact that you don't need somebody, okay? Ain't nothing wrong with needing a man. Ain't nothing wrong with needing a woman, all right? Let's just make sure we all are being respectful, and uh, let's cut the shit. Cut the shit. Be honest. Don't fall into this social media thing real people still winning real people still winning you know what i'm saying and cool people still grinning you know what i'm talking about so yeah keep it groovy like a drive-in movie i love y'all i appreciate y'all shout out to everybody rocking the virginia 64 merch live your dreams not your reality um yeah i love y'all man i can't say that shit enough and uh i'm top rope zeus for everybody that gave me a flower or a rose during this live Listen, if you got any value from this, hit me up right now and send me messages and tell me if you like these type of lives. If you do, I promise I'll start doing them more consistent. I do. The only reason I don't do these is because I really don't know if y'all get value from these type of things. You know what I'm saying? Like, everybody wants bullshit, and I'm not going to feed you bullshit. I'm not going to lie, and I'm also not going to down men or women. We all goofy, and I'm going to talk some shit and swallow some spit. That's just what it is. You know what I'm talking about? That's just what it is, so... um. Thank you. Y'all could have been anywhere in the world, but you're here with me. God damn it, I appreciate that. <laughs> Yo, man, one time for the one time. I love y'all, man. Check out my videos. I've been your host, Top Rope Zeus. As always, live your dreams, not your reality. Peace.